Hello, I'm finally ready to finish the uh, last video. Uh, I actually had to reinstall my C++ because I kept getting a, an error that I had a virus. I still don't know if that was true or not, but that's what happened. Now, where we were was I had been able to print out I'll show you what I, I'll show you actually the entire program and then the part that we had. We had the first four lines where we had the cards as numbers. I wanted to produce this line, these lines, which were the cards as uh, the five of diamonds, the nine of clubs, the seven of hearts, and so on and so on. So to do that, what I'm doing, I think it may have been a little different than what I said I was going to do. I'm creating two character arrays. Now, those are called strings. One will be, uh, and actually, I'm going to create two strings. And... I'm not going to call them character arrays at this point. One will be the rank, the other will be the suit. And what I'm going to do is use my number to pick out one of those. Now, remember my card number, oh, I changed it so that my card number is between 0 and 51. That worked better than a 1 to 52. So let's look at this. If that's true, then uh, if card number is um, is let's say uh, 42, then 42 divided by 13, remember we're doing integer arithmetic, integer division, is 3. And in fact, 51 divided by 13 is 3. So all, so the, the numbers between 0 and 12 will give 0 when I, mod, when I divide by 13. The numbers between 13 and 25 will give a uh, 1. The numbers between are uh, 39, pardon me, 26, and 38 uh, will give 2. And finally, the numbers between 39 and 51 will give 4. I mean 3. So, I have four different numbers. And the zero is going to pick the spade for me. The one is going to pick the heart for me. The two is going to pick the diamond for me. And the three is going to pick the club. Now, in the other direction, I need something that will give me one of these 12 numbers, uh, 13 numbers. So, the card number mod 13 
will be between 0 and 12. And I'll use that to pick the rank. So let's see how I did that. Over here, for int i, uh, for each of the cards, si is going to be the suit for that card. So I'm going to say suits, take val's i, and divide it by 13. Rank, take val's i, and mod it by 13. That'll give me a number between 0 and 12, and the ranks... 0 to 12. There are 12, there are 13 places there. The yellow one, there are four places. So that is the way I managed to convert what were numbers into our more familiar cards. And you can look at this if uh, 20, uh, 35 uh, will produce a 2, so that's diamonds. And if we mod it, uh, 26, we get away from it. Uh, uh, I guess the, 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 it's nine, I believe, is the remainder. And zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that produces the five. So we get all the cards down. Now, what am I going to have you do with this? First of all, you're going to get this program. And I'm going to also put a little main line in. What we're going to do is you're going to input the... Uh, uh, actually, you're not going to get a shuffle. I'm going to make it easier. You're going to input a five-card poker hand. And then your job is to tell me what it is. Is it a straight? Is it a flush? Is it four of a kind? What? Normally, when I've run this program before, I've had the uh, shuffle program produce the hand. And then I've also had a choice where you could put it in by hand yourself. I've decided this time I'm only going to do the part where you put it in yourself. What I want you to see is that we can create a deck and we can shuffle it and we could, if we wanted to, deal out these cards and produce five, ha five card hands. We could, could, but then the we'd be at the mercy of randomness to get our particular hands. And if we want to test our program, we need to be able to generate a four of a kind or a flush or a straight or whatever. So that's coming out. It may come out in a few minutes. It may take an hour or two.